Okay, we should be recording. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. So we said the the basic functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. Filtrate is formed by blood vessels entering the glomerulus and uh, anything small enough to pass through glucose, amino acids, sodium, bicarbonate, chloride, potassium uh, forms into the filtrate. Most of the nutrients are reabsorbed in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct. You can also have reabsorption of water in ions. So this is a multi-stage process for forming a filtrate, which then has to have nutrients reabsorbed. And then the amount of water and ions is further uh, taken care of by what happens in the loop of Henley and what happens in the collecting duct. Okay, so we talked about that already. So let's talk about it again. So we have the afferent arteriole that brings blood all over the body. And there's a large, large number of nephrons and the blood vessels in the uh, glomerulus have special pores that allow anything small enough to go through and form the filtrate here. And then blood leaves the uh, glomerulus by the efferent arterial. So afferent means to take blood to the glomerulus, efferent take bloods away. So the pressure in the afferent and in the efferent arterial can uh, help regulate the degree of filtration. Uh, the renal corpuscle, this is a cross-section through the glomerulus. Uh, there's a connection between blood vessels and uh, places where material can leave the, uh, the blood and go into the tubules and leave the um, glomerulus. So the podocytes in the glomerular capillaries uh, there are specialized openings uh, to allow filtration, the formation of the filtrate. And uh, the capsular space around the glomerulus is where the uh, filtrate accumulates on its way to the proximal convoluted tubule. So in the proximal convoluted tubule, we have reabsorption of glucose, amino acids, ions, Proteins, for the most part, stay in the blood. They don't get into the glomerular capsule. Uh, so all these substances that go back into the interstitial fluid and then back into the bloodstream. Okay, the loop of Henle uh, has a descending loop, descending portion that is permeable to water an ascending loop that is impermeable to water and solutes. Okay, let's stop there for a moment. And let's go back and stop recording. Stop recording. Stop recording.